Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 30th, is it? Of the Le Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, subscribe, and join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, I am currently, you know, halftime New York game. Whoops, sorry, I'm not paying attention. Uh, New York halftime uh, Knicks game. So go Knicks. Uh, it's an uphill battle, but you know, just like what we do here, everything feels like an uphill battle until it isn't. So hopefully we'll see. You know, that's why they played them. If they, you know, if they already lost, then they would have given up. We'll see how it goes. Uh, still a little bit sad, but yeah. Uh, today, I also just did benches and, and upper body work. Not too much, honestly. Um, trying, to work, trying to run this weekend. Man, I've been just like so bad this weekend. Or this weekend running. But um, yeah, long weekend, I suppose. Memorial Day. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. But let's take a look at today's form. 2359, find closest note to given two notes. Okay, so you have a directed graph of n nodes. Uh, each node has at most one outgoing edge. Okay, uh, you have... Is it a... Oh, so it's what people call functional graph. I don't know if it's helpful. Sometimes, I don't know. There are stuff with functional graph that I feel like you just feel out after a while. But uh, yeah. Anyway, okay, so that means that with n nodes, there's only at most n edges. So it's not quite a tree, but it's almost a tree. There could be cycles, though, so... Yeah, okay. So what are we doing? Find closest node given two nodes. Okay, so... Graph is... Doo -doo -doo -doo. You're given two nodes, node 1 and node 2. Return the index of the node that's reachable from node 1 and node 2, such that the maximum between the... The maximum between the distance from node 1 to that node 2 is minimized. Okay, we don't... Doo -doo -doo. Okay, I mean... I don't see anything that funky. The the thing about this is then um, is that um, you are able to like the the node one and the node two distances don't affect each other, right? And as a result, then you could rip them apart and um, do them separately. They're independent, as you may even say. Uh, so yeah, uh, I mean the 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 name L N is the number of edges. Oh, I guess that makes sense. I was going to say that. I, I forgot that it's functional. But yeah. Uh, but otherwise, honestly, this is just uh, the uh, buffer search, right? Um, you know, you have the shortest path, right? Um, to get the distance. And then you just calculate uh, the maximum between the distance from no one to that node. And then... What is the maximum? The maximum between the distance. What does that mean? Maximum between the distance from node 1 to that node and from node 2 to that node is... What does maximum mean? Maybe I have to read this. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, it's not the delta of the distance. It's the max... Okay, I see. I actually missed... Okay, I did not read that correctly. I had to look at an example. Okay, so yeah, by the way, though, it doesn't change our result. We just have to write uh, a breath of search or a shortest path algorithm more specifically, right? Um, yeah, and yeah, and we don't even, I guess from node, uh, from starting node, maybe, right? So then here, this is a very template uh, BFS. And I say template, I don't mean that I'm going to copy and paste, but I honestly, at this point, write most of the things roughly the same way, right? So, uh, so that's why I mean by uh, template sometimes. Uh, start is equal to zero, right? So then that's all you need. Oh, love is all you need. Uh, <laughs> also, not having typos is all I need. Um, also, I said breath first search because it's just very natural in general. But I think one thing about functional graph is that each node only has one outgoing edge. That means that. If you're in a node, all your next moves are defined, right? So what I mean by that is that you don't even need by first search. You could use that first search or recursion, however you like. Um, yeah, I, I just realized this. I forgot about the functional graph of the one, the outgoing edge. Uh, the, the thing that reminded me is that, well, just looking at the input, right? So yeah. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, so I guess this is very awkward as a result. But actually, yeah, okay, fine. Let's not do it this way then. Uh, we can just write current... Let's go to start, and then we can set this up, right? And then it is just while edges of current is not equal to negative one, then current is equal to edges of current, right? Um, but before that, we want to update is equal to 
Um, I, I was going to write it like in a deep QA, but I, I'm just second guessing that you don't even have to, right? So like you could just start with count zero to one, so, or maybe zero. We can start at zero, so we don't even need this. Uh, and this being zero is actually awkward, so we actually, actually call it none. Um, and then count is equal to count increment, and then that's it. And then now, yeah, and then we could return distances, right? So now we return distances. So, uh, well, I call it BFS, but uh, maybe traverse is the right better word. Um, I call it BFS, but obviously it, it is no longer true. So here we have D1 for distance one, uh, traverse node two, right? And then now we go for, um, I don't know, A, B, and zip of D1, D2, though A, B is a little bit awkward, but it doesn't matter, A, B. So we take the max, and then we want to minimize this, right? So, uh, oh, do we return the index? Uh, okay, so then I guess we just have to enumerate this, right? Um, okay, so we want to say there is some best is equal to, say, infinity, right? Oops. Uh, just some big enough number. It, it, uh, yeah. And then best index is equal to, I don't know, that I default to zero. And then now we want to say if this number is less than best, then best is equal to this number and best index is equal to index. And we do want the smaller index, so if it's equal, then we don't tie break, right? Or we tie break by not doing it. Um, of course, we have to check uh, if best is equal to infinity, then we never update it, then we just return negative one. And that should be good, hopefully. Oh, I actually messed up, I messed up, I messed up. I mean, this is, actually, I don't know what happened here. But I messed up, oh, I have to check for none because it doesn't much worse. But I messed up anyway because this is, um, this will infinite loop because we have a psycho. I forgot that this is not a tree. In any case, uh, yeah. So here, maybe actually we could just do infinity here. Maybe it's a little better default, but this should time out. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> well, that's awkward. Distance between zero to two is two. Why is that? Hmm. I mean, I expect this to be right. I mean, at least for that input. Um, that's why I'm going to double check. So this is this one, D2, what's D2? No two. Oh, it doesn't do itself. Oh, actually, I, I, I had this outside, but I wanted to write it. Okay, fine. Uh, actually, I, I'm just really bad, it turns out. So I actually want this to be after. After, mm, where do I, what is the order of operation here, right? Well, we definitely want distances of start is equal to zero, right? And then now where current is not equal to one, then we just go to the next one. That one's fine. We also want to increment, which is also reasonable. I think this is actually fine. It's just that we have to kick it off, possibly. Possibly maybe a little bit more, clearly. Wow, today I am not a smart man. But uh, I'm going to blame it on the fact that I'm trying to rush a little bit to get back to the next game. I don't think it started yet, though. But uh, okay, zero, one, two. Uh, all right, so that means that, oh... This, uh, okay, so that's what I'm really bad. Wow, this should be current is not ego to this because if, if, if it's not, then we can do it, right? Okay, so this looks good, right? Like I said, it's going to in um, infinite loop, and you can just do it with a very easy, like, uh, 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 was it uh, one zero, right? I think, and then zero one, something like that, and um, yeah, it should infinite loop because of this thing. So, we uh, actually, what we want also want is n. Distances of current, uh, I said not no infinity. Okay, is less than infinity, right? Um, okay, well, while current is not equal to one. Hmm. Why is this giving me issues? Because start should be, oh, it doesn't, uh, okay, fine. Um, Oh, this, I meant this is equal to, man, wow, I'm really messed up, clearly. Uh, or maybe I'm still off by one, because, no, this is wrong because um, we still have to update. Because we update current and then this, right? So 
we actually what we should do is we do 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 right um if distances subcurrent is uh not equal to infinity then we already visit it so then we can break i think that's right i don't know why it doesn't maybe i just had the science wrong i don't remember how i had it anymore should be and well i had it as less than oh wait no i oh i see it has to be equal to a greater than maybe i don't know now i'm not super confident but i'm gonna go to submit anyway uh so it looks good uh i mean you know this uh if there's a cycle you have to break it but if you do break cycles that means that you visit each node at most once so this is going to be all of n time and of n space just because we keep one for each uh thing and then yeah d1 d2 so two linear time algorithms and then just another linear loop and we are gucci and i'm gonna go back to the next game that's all i have for this one let me know what you think thanks for watching hope y'all have a great rest of the week and we'll chat soon. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take your mental health. Health. Let's go next. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye.